He's coming closer to me. Okay, I'm kind of scared now. Okay, go. Let's go. Probably the worst night of sleep that I've gotten on this whole trip. It's also going to be the biggest day probably of our trip the next few days. So today is day one of two days that we're going to take to go over the Gotthard Pass. So hopefully we have a, a nice clear day to head up over the pass. Cool and a little misty, but no rain. But first, yeah. We are so spoiled here. Morris gave us the Nespresso maker and the milk foamer. Ah, what's that? I think maybe we didn't sleep so well because we've been going to bed at 2 a.m. every single night and waking up at 11 a.m. Yeah. That might be part of it. Part of maybe. It. Need some brekkie. Oh, Time to roll out. Welcome back, Rad Fam Adventures. We are heading out from Casa Abicina in Astano. And one of the questions that we get asked... <laughs> oh, moped going by. How far, how far do you ride in a day? And the answer to that is, well, in short, we really ride about, yeah, we ride about um, 100 kilometers, I would say, which is 65 miles. We are from the US, so we usually use mileage, but I just like the way a hundred kilometers sounds, you know, it's like even. Uh, but yeah, usually a hundred kilometers. Uh, but it really depends, you know, it depends on the ride. Like today, I'm gonna get out of the way here. Today we're gonna be going up a mountain pass, so maybe not so far, maybe half of that. All right, pause the conversation because we have a Swiss garbage can here. Step on the bottom, put it in drops down somewhere. We're not sure where. It's so clean and efficient. Mm -hmm. It's still a little bit stinky though. A little stinky. Just a little bit. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Just kind of settling in there. Made it to Migliaglia. I just like saying that word, Migliaglia. We're not really that far yet. Sweet bags. Thanks. Just two this time. Darren traded out. Mm -hmm. Morris had some ort leaves that he didn't need and didn't want to use anymore, so he generously donated them to us. I was saying the uh, distances really depend on the day. And of course it depends on the person too. There's no right or wrong way. I mean, you could go 10 miles and maybe for you that's plenty, that's enough, it's a challenge, it's fun. It's all about having fun and, and I think challenging yourself a little bit, you know, so you feel that reward at the end of the day. But yeah, there's really no right or wrong. You could go 100 miles in a day. I don't really <laughs> like doing that, uh, but you could do it, you could. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> I had a hard boiled egg. I guess it was soft boiled and uh, the shell was a little more fragile than I thought. Uh, I've got this situation. Hmm. I'm just gonna leave that for now and deal with it later. <laughs> I'm loving this right now, just loving it. Oh my god, it's so pretty! Ah! So
brake pads are like, Help! oh my god. <laughs> it's so steep. So steep. Mars, oh my gosh. This is super steep. What grade is this? Is this what we're going to be going up? Is it going to be this steep? I hope not. Woo! Find out. Yikes. Riding on the Swiss Route 3 now. Officially. Official Route 3 of Switzerland. Yeah, we're going from the south of Ticino province all the way to the north of Switzerland. This is what the path looks like here. There's Darren. There's me. There's me again. Alright, bye. Absolute stunning. Day. It's a stunner of a day. And the loop right now. Oh, it's a Woo! This, this descent is insane. There's actually a bike lane. I mean, it feels like you're on the highway, but oh my goodness. I feel like we're skydiving. We're so high up. Wow. It feels like I, I jumped out of a plane and I'm just slowly making my way down to ground level. Darren, Darren, what did you think of that descent? It was beautiful. It wasn't switchbacky, so I liked it. And we still got a little ways to go. We gotta, we gotta get down there. Look, there's sheep right here too. We made it down the long descent. It was awesome. There were some people going up too. And uh, that's what we're gonna be doing later today and tomorrow. Check out this view of the valley. Oh my goodness. Ah, it doesn't get better than that. Cows are getting in a little nap. Ah, oh, just more beauty. <laughs> Can't get enough of it. It's amazing. Trying to get there before the grocery store closes. <sighs> Look at this the village. Just came out. Behind us as well. Equally impressive. Yeah. So we made it. We made it. Just barely. Just barely. But it's a pretty cute campsite. Yeah. The bikes made it. My legs barely made it. I was dead today. I don't think we ate enough. I was really, really tough. I think it's also hard. It's also hard doing a climb at the end of the day. But yeah, we're gonna do our little campsite over there. Look at how beautiful it is. Worth the climb. So how was the day for you today? Um, I was a little nervous in the beginning. I felt really tired and not like 100%, so I was concerned, but then I felt good like halfway through, persevered towards the end. How's your knee? My knee's okay. I could feel it pulling a little bit. Is it towards swollen? The end. A little bit? Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. So what do so you- I don't know. So what about tomorrow? Do you think we're going to be able to make it the- 6,000 feet. 1,400 meters. <laughs> I think we have to get up to like 6,900 feet. I think that's like three times what we did today. Hmm. The day was challenging. Yeah. I woke up feeling really tired. And by woke up, I mean 
just opened my eyes because I wasn't actually really sleeping. I know, you actually like night. got out of bed. Because <laughs> I was awake. I usually can push through that, no problem. But I don't know, I was just kind of in a funk. I felt okay for the first bits of climbing in the beginning of the day. It was gorgeous. And then towards the end, my legs were just not working. And that's unusual for me, especially climbing. I usually enjoy climbing, but today was definitely a challenge. I know that a good night's sleep can reset, so that's what I'm hoping for mm -hmm. tomorrow. I don't know what's gonna happen. Postal bus. Postal bus. <laughs> or train. I really don't want to do that. I, I want to get to the top of this pass, but it is insane. Look it up, Gothard Pass. Hopefully by this time we will have pictures to show you because we made it up there. Oh look, a fly on my mm. face. One of the thousand that I picked mm, up today. Um, but yeah, I'm... I'm excited to get a hot pizza for dinner. And sleep. And sleep. Sleep is nice. I need more water. Yeah, and water too. Is it still good? I don't know. Hopefully. The muffin top had molded. This I is... saved this from the plane. Darren, I was like, Darren, where's yours? She's like, I hate that on the plane. I was like, you're going to save that? I was like, I'm saving this for a tough day. I like how you saved the plane brownie. What do you mean the plane brownie? Like an airplane brownie. Oh, oh, the plane. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I'm tired. Yeah, because yeah, that was the one I got for free. Hmm. Kind of Play-Doh-y. Uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Still good. Nice. Wipes. I'll take a bite. I don't think it's moldy. It's pretty good. That's how it tasted. Hi. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just passed out. It was a long day today. A very long day. So I think it's time for sleeping. But we're all cozied up here in our tent. Super cozy. We had a little rain earlier too. Mm -hmm. A little cloud burst. So that was kind of fun. Because <laughs> the tent was completely outside. Yeah. So just a lesson to all of those who are camping. When you get to camp, just make sure you set up your tent right away, no matter what. Put the rain fly on, which yeah. we did. We just didn't have it closed. Especially in these mountains. Yeah, especially in the mountains. And close up all your bags, too. Because yeah. our bags were just open. We're like, ah, close up yeah. your bag. And then we're just getting soaking wet. But we're good. It stopped. So sleeping time now and big climb tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, good night. Good night.